Arts Week and it's become a tradition. Um, as you're probably aware, we're a specialist college for the visual and performing arts and uh, this is our annual flagship um, when we collapse the entire timetable for a week and uh, students engage in lots of different activities um, which are arts based um, and they're learning but uh, in a completely different way from the usual classroom setting. Uh, they're also working in a very different setting in that uh, they are in vertical groups so all of different ages working together, learning new skills together. So the youngsters find they're making new friends and learning new activities? They are, they are, and it's very good for the community cohesion within the school when you find that the, the students gel together more as a community because they can relate to other students there of different ages and that complements the vertical tutoring system that uh, already exists. One, two... Can you catch both of them? I know you can do it. Yeah! yeah. yeah. And you've got professionals coming in to lead some of the training and... Lots and lots of professionals. We think it's really good for students uh, in curriculum time, especially in Arts Week. It's a great opportunity to work with uh, people actually out there working in the real world. So we have a huge variety this year, actually. We've got uh, uh, a couple of performers from the West End working on dance and musical theatre. Uh, we've got various artists working around the school. We've got Zoo Lab in with uh, live creatures which are being passed around one of the maths classrooms as we speak. We have uh, a lot of visits out as well, so some of those involve working um, with vocational partners as such as, for example, Gemini Studios and Ipswich. So again, it gives that students an insight into the working world and to meet real people that aren't teachers. I'm not saying that teachers aren't real people, but uh, obviously we don't have that experience. Are the teachers and other staff still involved as well? Absolutely, everyone's involved with Arts Week and it's an opportunity for the teachers and students to work together on planning something that they're really interested in and want to pursue in terms of their learning and increasing their skills. We're working on the theme of the Lion King, which is going to tie in with uh, performing arts next year. So we thought the students could make Lion King masks. So they're creating three-dimensional um, headdresses based on different characters from the Lion King. So they're using mod rock card, fur, fleece, and all sorts of different materials. They're experiencing different uh, methods of creating. And for students who don't feel they're sort of quite so artistic or creative themselves, there's other activities going on yeah, as well? Yeah, we, we try, try to make it as varied as possible. And uh, although we're a visual and performing arts college, um, the angle that we look at it from is at the basis of creative learning. And that's uh, why we, we so strongly believe in the arts, but also um, we believe that other subjects benefit from a creative approach. And we believe that creativity is a really important aspect of most industries nowadays. So if the Learning is creative, it's looking at, at making, inventing, using existing or developing skills. Um, so for example, one of the pathways is the art of investigation, which is looking at a creative approach to um, forensics and it, it uses quite a, an exciting way. So I think they're, they're down at the spa garden tomorrow and they're collecting pollen so that they can try to solve a crime. So although they're actually doing science, the kind of science that they would do from a textbook or in a lab, they're doing it in a far more creative way. What we have here is several internationals and international coaches over four days teaching various aspects of skating. The kids start, if you like, doing their driving license in skating, which is Skate Spark, which teaches them to be able to stop, turn, go backwards, be safe on skates. Once they've gone that, and within two days, everybody does, they then are doing the various disciplines. They're learning how to go fast. To show you how fast, with practice, you can do a marathon in 56 minutes. They're turning different types of hockey, and they're also learning how to do artistic skating. And, on the last day, they're going to be doing some jam and bebop skating on skates as well. And have any of these youngsters skated before then? Only one. Wow.